Alright, so I had to put my shit up in the uh in the laundromat, man, but I had to talk to niggas today, bro, cause this shit is critical, man. Uh it's a movie I with Lawrence Fishburne, forgetting noise in the background. Like I said, I'm watching my shit right now. I'm just trying to eat some food and shit. God that bless a nigga with so uh my bad. But uh it's a motherfucking me movie I called High Learning. A high education, I forget which one. It's got Lawrence Fishburg in it. Uh it's got that other nigga who played um uh on the movie with Tupac, the nigga who shot Tupac back uh when Pac had crossed out all his partners. Uh so and, and, and if you ain't seen it, I highly advise you go watch it because it's real. Like, it's one of the movies. It's old, but the message is still true today. So, basically, uh, with this hoe, look at this hoe. These hoes will stop at the weirdest angles. This hoe stop right here and just, I, I swear, boy, I say, my motherfucking head be on a swivel as yours should be, bro. Because, mo just like I told you. When you a black man in this country, people always watch you out the corner of your eye. So when they think you ain't looking, it's when they looking at you. That's some white folk shit, but that's how they do niggas. So anyway, check this out, though. Uh, so boom, look. The movie is basically, I'm going to give you a rundown for anybody who ain't seen it, anybody who don't feel like going looking it up. So the movie is about the experience of going to college in America where you got a black boy, uh a white hoe, a, ni a nigga who an athlete, he on a scholarship, a broke white hoe, uh, uh, a country redneck uh, white boy, uh, and then like the white boys that got money and shit, and then regular white folk. So throughout the movie, it's different shit that's gonna happen to all the different characters throughout the movie. So like, you know what I'm saying? Some of the characters really ain't gonna have a big role in this shit. Like, the main two, the niggas I'm talking about in this video, they play like a big ass role in this shit, so that's why we talking about it. But with that being said, uh, in the movie, something that happens is a white boy, he a country white boy, right? And when he first get to school, he really ain't hip to shit. Like, he green. He green, so he don't really just, like, he don't know how to socialize with people. He be trying to go to the parties. They kind of low-key be clowning the nigga and shit. So when he get there, his college experience kind of fucked up for him, for real, for real, if I'm being real. You know what I'm saying? I don't advise anybody like white folk to show him sympathy, but you got to keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Like, he ain't do shit to get treated how he did. You feel me? Like, even though I don't like white folk, I don't go out my way to fuck him over. You know what I'm saying? I just stay, I try my best to stay away from him. Uh, but with that being said, throughout the movie, he tried like multiple times to get into different social scenes. So he tried to get into like the rich white boy clique, you know? He tried to just get into, you know, niggas who wasn't really on all black shit. He tried to hang around anyone who would fuck with him. And he, and he, he would steady go through experiences to well, it made his his character in the movie basically feel like, all right, they ain't really fucking with a nigga, so I'ma go and move around. So boom, uh, he get he get he he outside one night. He chilling, he chilling in that hole. He just mind, he smooth minding his business. He's somewhere um sitting on like the campus or some shit, right? And uh, a white boy come up to him, another white boy come up to him, a skinhead nigga. He don't know he a skinhead though, cause a skinhead, this hot and this this just listen though, this, this all gonna make sense cause this shit happened in prison a lot and in jail a lot. So the skinhead nigga come up to him basically like, hey bro, you know you need a brother come to this cool party. He don't even say brother at first, he just come up cause it's a Saturday, he like shit. Come to this party, bro. It really ain't no party though. Uh once they get to walking and talking, the skinhead basically lure this nigga into some shit where it's like Shit, we just gonna go to the bar. Fuck all these niggas, bro. All these niggas up here weird. These college people weird. And the nigga go for it because remember, he never really been accepted anyway. 
So they go uh, back to the skinhead nigga spot. They walk and talk maybe like 15 minutes to the point where the nigga like, shit, we could just chill, bro. We ain't gotta go to a bar. So the nigga go to this nigga spot. He got a nice little spot. So the skinhead basically just started talking to him about what it mean to be a uh, like a white nationalist type of nigga in jail. Them the niggas that had the SWAT stickers on their chest. They used to be big swole ass white boys. And they be bald head. Uh, that be like they car that they ride in, you feel me? But long story short, uh, the nigga end up getting down with the with the with the uh with the white shit, like with the white power shit, right? And because he could never fit in, ain't nobody reach out to him. So uh throughout the movie basically what happens is he becomes further and further disconnected from like normal people to the point where he start he start believing more of the white power shit, but then they start making this nigga go on basically like gang missions. So like, you know, for y'all niggas who in gangs, I don't need to tell you about that. But for people who not, basically what happens is like, let's say you get down in a clique, right? I ain't gonna say gang, cause gang got legal implications, but let's say you get down in a clique or a set, right? So when you first get in, they might not crash you out, but they gonna take you like, y'all might go jump a nigga, go beat a nigga up. You might come in towards the end where the main enforcers and already, I take that word back, where the main fighters then already whoop this nigga up. So he really just leaking, he fucked over. So they might push you in towards the end, be like, shit, get a couple licks in and see how that shit feel. You know what I'm saying? That's what they did to this nigga. So by the end of the movie, basically what happens is the university start trying to come together because it was a it was a predominantly white university, but they made an effort to try to make it start coming together, one of the other main characters, right? So towards that effort, they had a big ass rally, right? Where all the different students, cause they was clicked up so much, same way like in jail. You had your Asians riding with your Asians, your blacks, blacks, Mexicans, Mexicans, so on, so on. So they had an event where everybody was out there. They sent the, the, uh, the green white boy who the, the nigga I'm talking about, they sent him on a mission to pop a, a, a black person in the rally to send a message. Now, right before this had happened, the black students had retaliated and beat up some of the white nationalists on campus. So they was already on some, you, you feel me, type shit. I say this to say this though. In the end of the movie, after the nigga shot the nigga from the, he was on the ceiling, he shot this nigga in the crowd, right? Who happened to be the girlfriend of the main character. He ended up running from the police, but the police catch him on campus and he blew his head off because he didn't want to face the consequences because he knew he was going to either have to serve live or just, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was going to be some, you know, not everybody can handle prison, you know? Uh, not everybody want to go to prison or do their time or whatnot. So, boom. I said that to say, bro, when you dying and out, bro, when you not where you want to be in life, right? And, but but you still trying to be a man, right? You still standing on certain principles and certain morals and shit. Niggas going to see that in you. And they going to see that. They going to see in you what they saw in that white boy in the movie. He's still a man. He just ain't found his lane. He ain't found his voice yet. He ain't came up out the, you feel me? He ain't came up out the dark cloud yet. So he vulnerable. The reason why I'm making this video, bro, for the young niggas is because most of y'all young niggas, bro, y'all join gangs when y'all people kick y'all out the highs. Y'all join gangs when y'all lose y'all first fight in high school. Nigga that beat you up. You embarrassed like a motherfucker. I lost a fight in high school, bro. I ain't join no gang, bro. Uh, Shout out my nigga Paul, bro, because we seen each other after that shit. We, we squashed that shit like men straight up, one-on-one. -on -one, nobody around, bro. Uh, But... I say that to say this, if, if, if you get down with that shit and you don't choose to follow God and pick up your Bible, because when you're alone, really, that's God trying to say, this is my opportunity to try to fuck with you just one on one. If you refuse that offer, you're going to be fucked for real. Like, if you think the journey you want in is hard, if you refuse to get with God when you down and out, you're going to really be on some hard times. Uh, but. The point of why I'm saying this is most 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 niggas get down with that gang shit, bro. When they one deep, they still ain't really find out who they want to be. They might be second, third generation gang bangers, so they people put it on them. 
and normally it takes some big nuts for you to buck your family. Most niggas ain't got, I ain't trying to say nigga pussy, but you know, like if your people is a family of mathematicians, most y'all gonna be mathematicians, right? I say don't join it because just like in that movie, they gonna use you like a send off, my nigga, because why? When you get down with niggas, bro, niggas know, the nigga who running that shit know which ones is the crash dummies, which ones is the ones who gonna be all right, they gonna ride with me to the end, so I'ma crash them out right before they get to me type shit. Uh, they gonna, they gonna be quick to put a nigga like you on front line. Why? Uh, you don't really have value. And because of the fact that you just out in the back, and usually most of the time in this phase of life for young black men in this country, you're not really just close to too many people. Like you probably didn't burnt through a couple niggas, you didn't slept on some sofas, you didn't got put out of mama and them or auntie and them high. So they already knowing that because most of the time these niggas done been through everything you've been through. They just chose to go evil instead of good. They just chose to rock streets instead of God or devil instead of God. You know what I'm saying? It's important you remember this because it's going to be a bunch of situations where God testing you to see if you're going to finally get desperate enough to buckle and get down with these niggas and get down with this thing, robbing, get down with this, selling hard, which is crack, you know, uh, hitting licks, you know what I'm saying, selling salt, ice, whatever. Uh, that's your test from God, my nigga. Now, if you fail that, uh, depending upon the mercy and grace that God might have for you, you might live to talk about it. You might not though. Uh, if you choose right, which I'm hoping to show in my life with my with my YouTube channel, you're gonna slowly start to see things happen that is gonna be in your benefit, and you know that you didn't do nothing for it, so it was out of your control. So even if it was someone else's, you deep down, whether you don't believe in God or not, you gonna know it's a force greater than you that's working in your behalf. I'm saying all this to say my nigga choose God over the devil at the end of the day. And it's just like another video I posted a couple days, a days ago said, why? At the end of the day, the devil have his little fun usually in the beginning. It worked like a credit card. But at the end, good always win my nigga and the devil always come to collect his debts with interest.